But for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a strong first half out of the quarterback, Joe Burrow. He was on point repeatedly, ultimately finishing with four touchdown passes in those first two quarters alone. Coach, thank you. Not a rest at the break for the defensive coordinators, trying to figure out how to stop these offenses as we get ready for the second half. Pretty interesting first half. We'll see if any strategy changes for the next 30 minutes or more as this second half gets underway. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. Here comes the Philly offense now. Their way back onto the field. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards, any completions. This has just been a dominant pass defense performance here, and everything starts with the rush. The quarterback's uncomfortable. The clock gets sped up. He's got guys in his face. It's a lot easier to play defensive back and in some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast. And right now, they're teeing off and taking advantage of it. On the ground, it's Barkley to start the drive. And this rough day on the ground continues. They're going to drop it behind the line again. With the struggles they had running the ball in the first half, Mike, it makes sense that they're trying here early in the second to get this ball carrier going. But this last run's not going to do them any favors. Another rush, another loss of yards. Now Jalen Hurts on second down. Catch made there, that's Smith. And nice work after the catch. He stopped a little short of the first down marker, but it is a pickup of nine. Third down, three to go. He'll try to run here with Barkley. And he's going to have an Eagles first down, I do believe. Gets it by about a yard on third and three. In real time from up here, Mike, I couldn't tell whether or not he got it at first glance. But I think after seeing the replays we have up here, it looked like he and his blockers got just enough. And they're going to be able to keep this drive alive. On first down, it's Hurts. Taking off. And he's going to be brought down, but not until he gets inside the 35. This is an element to his game that we don't necessarily spend a lot of time talking about. He's not known as a traditional runner at the quarterback position. But when he has some space like he had here, he is more than capable of not only converting first downs, but picking up big chunk plays. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Man in motion is Smith. On first down, it's Hurts. Looking right side, he's got a receiver. It's Smith. And he's very close to a touchdown. They mark him. Just shy of the goal line. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. A couple of big plays, one after the other. And now it's first and goal. Now Hurts. That one. Take it in. Devontae Smith. Touchdown, Eagles. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. Greg, sometimes we say it too often. That was an important drive. That one really felt important for them to edge a little bit closer. Yeah, now the question is, Mike, yeah, the offense does their job, but can the defense get a stop? 
they've got to continue to get the ball back to their offense. Let them build on that previous drive because they've still got some work to do. Now Hertz and the Eagles will try the two-point conversion. Now they'll set up to throw. Oh, the ball's out. The Bengals have got it. That decision to go for two was made up from the very beginning. The moment they scored, you could see the head coach. He's signaling, we're going for two. The touchdown was obviously a disappointing outcome defensively, but to able to get that stop, they can at least come off the field and catch their breath. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. Now return, coming from the seven. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The home team's offense and Joe Burrow set to take over again. And he's been as good as advertised. Take you through some of the highlights. Four touchdown passes on point with his receivers right throughout and continuing to master running and executing this offense. Set to go now on first and 10. Working out of the gun, Burrow. To the left side, caught by Chase. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage. And so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. Burrow fires quick to Higgins. He's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. A good spot here, second and a yard. Play action now. It's Burrow. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. And up until this point, this has been an incredibly efficient game from this quarterback. I mean, it's hard to think here we are in the second half, and that's only his second incomplete pass. So finally, the defense is able to do something to disrupt his timing and finally try to get him out of this groove. He'll try and throw for it on third and one. That's the second time they connect on this drive. This one hit the 13 yards. Boy, some bulk in the formation on that right side here for first and ten. Throwing is Burrow. He's hit as he threw. It goes to the ground, and it's an incomplete pass. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. Burrow here on second down to the middle of the field, caught by Higgins. And this takes him into the right zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. Really nice timing on that slant route. You can tell the quarterback and the wide receiver are completely on the same page. And when executed at that level, it's virtually impossible to stop. On first down, Burrow. There's that man again. Another catch.
Here's a second and three forthcoming. Burrow. That's to the end zone, but they can't get it. It's incomplete. They let a golden opportunity slip away on that one. That's the matchup that they wanted. They just couldn't quite capitalize on it. They'll come up to third and three. To throw is Burrow. That pass sideline is caught. Nice catch. Stays in bounds. And he's got the first down. Terrific job with the feet to make that one a grab. The best guys I've been around, Mike, they have a sense where they can see the ball, but they can feel the sideline. And that's kind of an innate sense that these guys have that allows them to concentrate and secure the catch and ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. Burrow. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. They went for it all on that one and just a little bit off. Ball winds up hitting the ground. They've got to move forward. The opportunities are out there. Better execution, better location, and they got some big plays in their future. Line of scrimmage remains the four-yard line. It's second and goal. Burrow to throw. That's hauled in at the two. And he won't quite get in. Down to the one, setting up third and goal. These are the worst. I, I had a couple years, Mike, where I swear I got tackled inside the one-yard line ten times. And then you look back and you're like, man, how many touchdowns did I leave on the board because I couldn't get one more yard. Now, for him individually, not ideal. But right now, they're on the doorstep of the end zone and they got to fight. That one is caught in the back of the end zone. Jamar Chase. Touchdown, Bengals. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And he continues to remain on fire. That is a rare NFL day. Five touchdown passes thrown. And Mike, at this point, the defense just looks completely lost out there. I mean, they have no answers whatsoever, giving up the fifth touchdown pass of this ballgame. On is McPherson for the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Bengals will extend this third quarter lead. TD on is McPherson to kick this one away. He fields it at the eight. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28 yard line. That's A.J. Brown and the rest of the Eagles offense set to take over once more. And he was unguardable in the first half. You see the numbers as they try to add to those here in the third quarter. set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. Operating from the gun, here's Hurts. That's out to Brown, right side, complete. And they're going to have this all the way down inside the 30-yard line. We see so many wide receivers in today's NFL that almost resemble more of a running back style. When they get the ball in their hands, not only are they able to pick up big yards, they're able to fight through tackles and make people miss. That's an element that a lot of offenses are searching for. It takes a lot of pressure off the quarterback. working in the pistol quick throw taken in 
A gain of 11 on that one. First down, Philadelphia. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. And nothing doing on that one. He'll go down behind the line. I'd like to see that running back be a little bit more decisive with his cut, Mike. You can see he was a little hesitant, and once you're late making that decision, you just kind of get strong laterally. Great job there by the defense, and he has no choice but to take that loss. To throw on second down is Hurts. Open man is Smith. He's got him. And that'll go for a gain of seven, and it's going to set up third down. Here's Hurts. He pulls it in around the five. To the goal line and in. A.J. Brown. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. That is yet another touchdown pass. What a game he is having, throwing his fourth touchdown score of the game. It's one thing, Mike, to throw four touchdowns, but it's really the ease in which he's carved this defense up that has stood out the most. The defense has had no answers for this passing game, and he has just completely had his way with this group. Here's Elliott for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Eagles have cut the deficit to five. Eagles. So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. From the six, here comes a return. He'll get across the 20, mark him down 23-yard line. The home team's offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They have been powerless to stop him. Now they're trying to keep it going. from their own 23 they'll begin first and ten they'll run here with Brown a gain of four as he's taken down he was tackled at the 27 yard line a gain of four it's now second and six here's second and six Contact up front. Did they get one of the defenders to jump? Still second down. They go play action for Burrow. Quickly to the outside and complete. Do a nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. Off the play fake, here is Burrow. And he slides and covers up at the end, avoids the hit, and picked up decent yardage along the way. Initially, Mike, a really good job by the defense. Nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback. He's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner. 
A little slow reaction, and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game. Second down, Burrow. The ball deflected at least a couple of times, but it'll fall to the ground. It's incomplete. There was no hesitation from the quarterback. From the jump, he knew where he wanted to go with that ball, but still leads to an incompletion. They're just still not quite on the same page. Gasicki, the man in motion. Burrow from out of the gun here on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. Every so often, Mike, you can see these offenses, and it looks like the passing game gets a little bit too predictable. And as the defense continues to flood the back end of these zones with extra defenders, they're continuing to force this quarterback to not only make some difficult throws, but to put the ball in harm's way. The Eagles offense and the veteran A.J. Brown make their way back out. And you see the numbers for him into this third quarter. They just pop off the screen. He has been open and electric throughout. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. A shotgun snap now to Hurts. Firing right side, brought in by Brown. An even 20 yards, impressive start to this drop. Now, so far here today, putting points on the board certainly hasn't been a problem, and plays like that are why. Think about it, Mike. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there, and that mid-range pass results in a fresh set of downs. run up the middle with Barkley and he'll take this forward for about three it's second down from the shotgun it's Hurts the open receiver is Dodson that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. An eight-yard pickup. First down, Eagle. Here's Perks. A pass caught by Saquon. And this one's going to be a loss of yardage. He's marked out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. What they teach these backs is when you catch a check down, immediately try to get vertical. Try to put a hole in the defense coming to rally tackle. So give credit to the defense here. They strung this out and made him go sideways. And they forced him to go so far sideways, he went out of bounds. That'll be taken in by Barkley. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. There's a lot of ways to get the ball in the hands of your running backs. And it's not always by just handing it to them. In this case, it's a simple check down. Picks up a good gain. Brings up third down. Third and six. Hurts will try it again. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand, so it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. And we will not have a return here. This one angled out of bounds. The Bengals offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. Here's first and ten.
From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Open man, downfield, Chase has it. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Mike, it just seems like certain games each week just align for matchups like we're seeing today. Just two quarterbacks trading blow for blow, putting on a show for their respective teams. Let's see if he can finish this drive off with another touchdown following that big play. From the 39, here's a first and 10. Working out of the gun, Burrow. There's that man again, another catch. And he'll be taken down at the 25-yard line. Now, this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run-after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays, and these drag routes can be very, very effective. He'll find Brown out of the backfield. And he'll be brought down on uh, what will be the final act here in this third quarter. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Burrow now. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. Backfield empties. Five receivers in the formation for third down and five. Throwing is Burrow. That's into the hands of Gasicki. He's got it. I can't tell you, Mike, how many of these offensive skill players around the league, they look at man coverage as like a personal offense. They, they, they can't imagine that a defensive coordinator would say, hey, we're just going to have one guy defend you all by himself. And... After that last completion on the way back to the huddle, I think he had a few choice words for him. I think he said, hey, man, you can't guard me one-on-one. -on -one. You better ask your coach for some help, because if he doesn't, you're going to be in for a long day. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove, and there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way, every play they call, you're wide open, and you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand, because Right now on that field, there's no mistake in who it is. Burrow here on second down. This one is hold in on the feet inbounds. Yes! T. Higgins cut down Cincinnati. That is his third touchdown of the afternoon. So add another touchdown and touchdown pass for that matter. He has thrown six already in this one. Amazing stuff. And of course, all scoring plays are reviewed. So replay is going to take a look at this one and make sure it is good for six. And we'll get a moment here as they look this one over. Remember, the call on the field is what they'll stick with unless they have clear, incontrovertible visual evidence to the contrary. In other words, it's got to be the truth. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So, ruled a touchdown, Julie. They didn't find any reason to overturn it, and it stays on the board. McPherson, now for the PAT. The kick is good. And the Bengals will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter.
the TD. On is McPherson to kick this one away. This is going to be taken in at the three. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. The Eagles offense back onto the field for their next possession. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and 10. Now, Hurts. This one is caught by Dotson. And they'll get about half what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. To throw is Hurts. Now a screen set up for Barkley. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Things certainly look a little improbable right now, Mike, but I wouldn't say impossible. I think they've got to capitalize on this possession to pick up some points. Good start there. Early completion. But now they've got to get across midfield and go. Every single possession right now is priceless. Points possessions and then they got to get some defensive stops that's caught by Smith on the right side so they have these rules for the receivers Mike they call them green grass rules and the idea is if you're running across the field and you're looking at the quarterback you're gonna stay on the run if you're not looking at the quarterback that tells him I'm gonna sit in this soft zone I'm gonna what they call punch and pivot and stop and that tells the quarterback to put the ball on your chest. That nonverbal communication between the receiver and the quarterback, recognizing when you're open, stay open, that's the stuff that makes a lot of these offenses so difficult to defend. A gain there of 23 yards. Good for an Eagles first down. The challenge of defending a dual-threat quarterback in the NFL, Mike, is that you just don't see them week in and week out, maybe like you do in college. So in this case, you defend everything perfectly downfield, but it's hard to account for a quarterback who can run. He escapes the pressure, tucks it down himself, and he picks up a big game. And a good run there. Going to get him five yards. Not Jalen Hurts on second down. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. Nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than being able to pick up a first down without being forced to push the ball downfield and force it past the line to gain. He settles for the underneath check down. He's confident that his receiver is going to pick up the rest after the catch. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. So, of course, you prefer to connect on that throw. But think about it like this, Mike. The more they continue to test this defense downfield, the more it's going to open up some of those shorter passes underneath. They'll try again here. Second and ten. Operating from the gun. Here's Hurts. And he's going to somehow manage to get back to the line of scrimmage. But that's it. It'll be third down. What started out as a promising drive seemed inevitable, Mike, with the way they were able to continue to move the ball, that they'd find themselves finishing with points. But after that second down sack brings up third and long, and this drive looks suddenly very different. Here's a third and ten. Hurts to throw. That is incomplete. 
Well read that time defensively, making it difficult downfield. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. I like the idea of taking your shot there on third down, pushing the ball downfield, looking for the touchdown. But now as it brings up fourth down, you're already this close. You're in field goal range, but do you keep that offense on the field and try to maintain possession and see if you can come away with six? And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. And back to work goes Elliott after making the field goal. He'll send this one away. This will be returned from the six. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Bengals offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Burrow. Going right sideline and complete. Great way to start the drive. A gain of 20 and a first down. An interesting decision there by the play caller to put this ball in the air, Mike. You're up by two scores. Traditional wisdom says, hey, we're up by two scores late in the fourth quarter. We've got to keep this clock moving. You don't want to risk an incompletion. Now, they convert. They're able to secure the catch and pick up a fresh set of downs. That's going to enable them to continue to burn more clock. And without a stop, their opponent's not going to get the ball back. Here's second and three to go. Play action now. It's Burrow. He'll get this complete. It's Moss. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. Nice pickup here to the back. And what really stands out about this drive is the ability of the quarterback to really spread the ball around to multiple targets and put so much pressure on the defense, deciding who do they want to account for because no matter who they try to take away, quarterback's doing a nice job of finding the open man. First spot Higgins, who makes the grab. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Second down and three. Gasicki, the man in motion. Second down, Burrow. Off balance throw, it's complete. And they bring him down inside the 25 yard line. So often we see a team that's milking a two-score lead get very conservative, especially in the fourth quarter, but not this coach. He says, all right, I might have a two-score lead. I want to make it three. He's trying to put as much pressure on his opponent possible here down the stretch late. On first down, Burrow. And he'll take it on in. Mike Kosicki. Touchdown, Bengals. So that will tie the NFL record that has stood for more than 70 years. Seven touchdown passes in one game. First done by Sid Luckman with the Bears in 1943. And then Adrian Burke of the Eagles in 1954. We've waited a long time. Now they have company. So now the Bengals and Burrow 
will come out and try to add to. He'll look to throw. And he'll get into the end zone. Doing it on his own. Successful two-point conversion. Everybody's looking to end every drive with six, but when you can turn that six into eight, man, what a confidence boost coming off the field, and they're going to force their opponent now to start chasing. TD on is McPherson to kick this one away. Here comes a return from the five. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Eagles offense and the wideout getting set to go once more. And he's had some kind of game. They made it a point to get him involved early. Boy, did that pay great dividends to this point. First and ten. A shotgun snap now to Hurts. The open receiver is Dotson. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead. And the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. And he's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. Second and a yard. A pistol snap back to Hertz. Now he'll run. I love this call, Mike. Second down and short. One of the best downs in football to take a shot. Give credit to the defense. They were ready for it. But a nice job by the quarterback. Realizing there's nothing downfield. Take off turn into a runner, pick up the first down. Hertz working in the pistol. Looking middle of the field, it's complete. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark, just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. Hurts looking to throw on first down. And he's in. Dallas Goddard. Touchdown, Eagle. Well, Greg, the light's still on way down at the end of the tunnel here. They are climbing back into this one with that touchdown here in the fourth quarter. And they have a tall task ahead of them, Mike, but they have a chance. I mean, we've seen stranger things happen. Hmm. They got a two-possession game here late. They're going to need a couple stops, and they're going to need a couple Jake things Elliott to bounce their way. On is Elliott to add the extra point. His kick is good. And the Eagles are able to cut the deficit to 10.
So following the score, here comes Elliott to kick this one away. Fisk taken in at the eight-yard line. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. The offense headed back out, captained, of course, by their quarterback. And he has been masterful so far leading this offense, keeping the mistakes to a minimum, on point with his passes, generally one step ahead of the defense all game long. They'll come up here first and ten. They bring Chase in motion. Burrow now to throw on first down. Oh, a lot of chances on that one. It was bouncing around, but it falls incomplete. And this game almost just flipped completely on his head. You find yourself with a lead just trying to milk the clock away in the fourth quarter, and that's a gift. I mean, that defender just flat out drops the ball, and if he's able to secure that takeaway, this game looks very different for this offense. Pass right side, and Higgins has the catch. And that's going to do it. With that last throw, he surpasses Norm Van Brocklin, most passing yards ever in a game. Van Brocklin at 554 over 70 years ago, 1951. Help from the O-line, help from the receivers, an incredible performance, an NFL record set here. This would go a long way to sealing this one. Third and a yard. He's got a receiver, it's Chase. And that's gonna do it. It'll put him over 200 receiving yards in the game. What a performance. That grab also comes with a first down. That might end up being the backbreaker right now. This defense desperately needed to get off the field and give their offense a chance to cut into this two-score lead. But instead, they now got to defend a fresh set of downs. And as you look up at this clock, it might be running out of time. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Two-possession lead, fourth quarter. This is the time, Mike, when you really can rely heavily on your run game. Everybody in the stadium knows you're going to run it, including the defense. They just can't come up with an answer to stopping it. They go once more with Moss. And he's going to be taken down, and that will take us to the two-minute warning. They'll work now on second and four. Another try with Moss. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. So right out of the two-minute break, we get a timeout used by the defense with a minute 56 to go. It's at the 19. Whistles here. We have another stoppage. Timeout called by the defense with 153 remaining. Second down and eight. A run over center with Moss. And the defense there to meet him. They'll hold him to two and bring up third down. They'll drop to throw. He's got it at the seven. And the Bengals are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Ten yards to pick up there. And that'll get him a new set of downs. 
To be a prolific passing offense in this league, you have to be able to both throw the ball from the pocket and you have to be able to operate and convert on third downs. And they've really done both at a high level on this drive. And to no surprise, they find themselves first and goal. the back judge throws the flag he looks at the delay ball game. looks at the Off clock game. clock says zero that's a delay of game still second down the task a bit tougher as they face second and goal victory formation here as he's down to a knee So this one in the win column for the Bengals. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point. In the end, a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. That's the difference in this one. So that'll do it for us, for Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X. EA Madden NFL. It's a win for the Bengals as we say so long from Cincinnati.